G'day everybody, Sean from Bourbon Brothers here. I hope you're well. Welcome to our October tasting videos. The first bourbon we're looking at this month, the Rollins Tennessee Whiskey. The Rollins Tennessee Whiskey comes in at 40%. It's from the Tennessee Distilling Limited, whoever they are, in Columbia, Tennessee, and it's produced for pinnacle drinks here in Australia. So what is a Tennessee Whiskey? Tennessee whiskey is a straight whiskey produced in Tennessee. Although it has been legally defined as a bourbon whiskey in some international trade agreements, most current producers of Tennessee whiskey disclaim references to their products as bourbon and don't label them as such on any of their bottles or advertising materials. All current Tennessee whiskey producers are required by Tennessee law to produce their whiskies in Tennessee and to use a filtering step known as the Lincoln County process prior to aging the whiskey. The Lincoln County process is a step used in producing almost all Tennessee whiskies. The whiskey is filtered through or steeped in charcoal chips before going into the casks for aging. The process is named for Lincoln County, Tennessee, which was the location of Jack Daniels Distillery at the time of its establishment, but is no longer used in that county, where the only remaining distillery is Benjamin Pritchard's. Various distilleries use the Lincoln County process to make Tennessee whiskey. Notable examples include Jack Daniels Tennessee whiskey, George Dickel Tennessee whiskey, Uncle Nearest Premium whiskey, and our own Rollins Tennessee whiskey. The term Tennessee whiskey does not actually have a legal definition in the US federal regulations that define standards of identity for distilled spirits. The only legal definition of Tennessee whiskey in US federally recognized legislation is a North American Free Trade Agreement, which states that Tennessee whiskey is a straight bourbon whiskey authorized to be produced only in the state of Tennessee. The definition is also recognized in the law of Canada, which states that Tennessee whiskey must be a straight bourbon whiskey produced in the state of Tennessee. None of these regulations require the use of the Lincoln County filtering process or any other filtering process. On the 13th of May, 2013, the then Governor of Tennessee signed House Bill 1084 requiring maple charcoal filtering to be used for products produced in the state labelling themselves as Tennessee whiskey, with a particular exception tailored to exempt Benjamin Pritchards. As federal law requires statements of origin on labels to be accurate, the Tennessee law effectively gives a firm definition to Tennessee whiskey. So now we know what makes a Tennessee whiskey a Tennessee whiskey, let's have a crack of the Rollins. Call that a light copper. Fairly light legs as you'd expect. Not too bad though. So that nose, you get hints of dried herbs, caramelized sugar, and, and a, the distinct typical aromas of vanilla and caramel that you get in bourbons. For a 40% bourbon, it actually has a pretty good mouthfeel, although the finish is a bit short. On that palate, you get cinnamon, clove, a hint of malt in the background, and it's a pretty balanced finish with just a little bit of complexity in there. So on that finish, Roland finishes pretty light, pretty short, but with those typical bourbon flavours of vanilla and caramel pretty prominent. So that's Roland's our value pick for this month. Not bad value, especially if you get it on special at Uncle Dan's there. I hope you enjoy it and I hope you're enjoying your journey. Cheers. But it's no longer used in that county where the only restaurant... The only legal definition of Tennessee whiskey in US federally, federally, So it does finish light though with the typical bourbon flavors of vanilla and ca caramel prominent. It's just close.